Okay, so I can explain. Well, can I? Yes, I can explain. So I was browsing my mail, doing my stuff, and I see Colourpop has slipped in a 20% coupon code for my non-birthday. Now, I'm really serious about non-birthdays, obviously. We wouldn't be, right? And so I decided to make an order. And then, two days later, they come up with another 30% sale officially on their website. And, you know, why not? And then they came out with the St. Valentine's collection. So, here I literally have three boxes full of Colourpop products. My wallet is crying right now. But I'm so excited that I promised myself not to touch these products until I made the video, so here you go. Unboxing so that I can use them, finally. But hey, before we jump right in, please remember to subscribe, to leave a comment and a like, and I'll see you in the comment section, hopefully. Enjoy the video! So, alright, where do we start? The first box, okay. I think it will be the St. Valentine's collection, which I'm dying to get my hands on. Um, finally, is watch, you know, because these are blushes, let me tell you. So, the first product we have here is a palette. Oh, and I have to warn you guys, this is a eyeshadow video, basically. I've ordered so many eyeshadow palettes. I think I have maybe probably all the Colourpop palettes out there. Just saying. Do I regret it? No. So this is the Secret Admirer palette and it's pink. Do I have pinks? I have a lot of pinks. So why did I get this? Well, let me tell you, because this shade, it's called My Everything, literally conquered my heart since we are in team. And yeah, but this is this also has some pinks I think I can use in my everyday, like here, the first and the second row. The third row is more sultry, so I'm excited to work with this. But um, I think I will swatch just a few colors from each because I can swatch everything, that would be crazy. So I will swatch my everything since it's the one I'm dying to touch. Then with love. And hey girl, let's also pick a shimmer in the mood. It's a super shock. It's very flaky. It literally came off. And let's see, we have in the mood, my everything and the two other ones I don't remember the name of. These are very pigmented. And yeah, my hands are stained and already there's a mess on the table. Great. So that's the palette. Let's go for something else. Let's fish the Colourpop Press Powder Blush. These arts guys are so cute. Everybody and their mom has been dying to get these and well, for a reason. Look at, look at how cute these are. I have picked three. I think these are already sold out. They sold out in like a matter of one to two days. They restocked a second time. And again, a few shades are already sold out again. And these are also impossible to open, like everybody who has them has already said. So I found actually the trick. You, if you have long, fi your long fingernails, you just put them here. And it will open so here we have let's dance which is almost a coral i don't have something like this in my collection so i'm excited to use this um since we are here let's also talk about the other two blushes this is baby cakes and this is a oh my god my hand like literally am i a child i am a child you know, when it comes to makeup, I am a child. Uh, yeah, these get a bit of strain to be open. And this is a mauve, really deep color. Also, I need to wash this off, just give me a second. 
All right, so for the third blush, we have, if I can find it, this is Kiss and Tell. It's the one that was in the old Valentine's collection. And it's this heart right here. Super cute again. Uh, oh my God, I really dread the moment I have to open these. Like three in a day, it's too much. It's too much, let me tell you. Here's Kiss and Tell. Seems to be a beautiful neutral. I picked this up because I don't have anything really neutral to go with more sultry looks. So I thought this was the perfect choice and it seems to be. Let's see it's swatched because we didn't swatch the other two. Bit powdery, a bit stiff. Well, these don't have too much pigmentation. So let me do another swatch as well. I'm not sure you can see it here on, my, on the side of my hand. It's really fair, so I don't think this will work for really dark-skinned people. But I am very fair, so hopefully it will show up on my skin. Well, hopefully. And let's move on to the other products. Alright, so I picked two. Um, what are these called? Cream gel liners from Colourpop. Actually, this is a bundle. And this is the So Charming bundle with two shades. I don't really use, use this shade, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, so why did I pick them up? Because they were together, him together with the collection, the Birds of a Feather collection, I think it's called. So these are a pink and a violet, a purple shade. It's, these are called Love, Lover Boy and Charmer. I especially like the purple, but I don't think I will be using the fuchsia say fuchsia fuchsia shade a lot and then we have another cream gel liner this is joyride and this is an older one this came with the whatever collection which i think it's a fall collection from colourpop an old one uh, and it's a beautiful burgundy i can't wait to play with this i love burgundies in fact the reason why i picked the this palette in the first place is because it seemed to have a burgundy so yeah, I have a problem. Next up is another item from the Valentine's collection. It's a lip cream, Fresh Kiss lip cream in the shade Heaven. Now, this should be a very hot pink. I don't like hot pinks, but I like the swatches of these and I think, you know, if I have to purchase something, it might as well just add something to my collection. So, uh, and don't take this for granted. I mean, I don't usually follow this principle, but I don't know why I did this time. Maybe because I wanted to justify the purchase, if you know what I mean. Uh, I never tried this formula. I tried the lacquer one, but not the lip cream. So let's see. Oh yeah, this is really, really bright pink. But you know, if you build a look around it, it can work. Oh, and by the way, I am watching literally blindly right now. So that's cool. I hope you can see something. If not, I will have wasted, I don't know how many minutes, how many hours of my time. That's fine. Uh, so, oh, this is a good one this is the two air clips these are so cute i want to hit them like don't you want to hit these they're so cute and they really truly look like gummies they are almost transparent you know like the cola gummies these are my favorite they look translucent and there's almost like powdered sugar on top not powdered regular sugar on top and uh, yeah i love these uh so i think this would Together will make a great look, you know, a pink themed look that I don't know what to pair with in terms of clothing. Yeah. Uh, we also have the Pretty Fresh foundation. This is in the shade Fair 30N. I picked this blindly by watching a few YouTubers that seem to have my same skin tone and I hope this works. Not gonna try it now, but this is, this is pretty good. In terms of color, it seems uh, neutral. Well, this is 30N, so it should be should mean neutral. 
Um, so, I think this should work. I'm excited to try this because my M, M Cosmetics foundation is actually running out and I think it has too little product for me to repurchase again. So I was looking, I was on the market for another foundation. Um, from this box, we also have two items left, which is good, which is good. Um, this is a fine feathered palette and these came with the two uh, color liners, color, cream color liners, cream gel liners, uh, I don't know, um, I must be honest with you, these are not colors I typically wear, uh, again, this is feeling a void in my collection, so that's fine, this is palette, it's very beautiful, but mainly why I bought this is because there's a League of Legends champion, which I love, she's called Xaya, and she has this type of coloring and she has feathers as well. So yeah, the gamer in me screamed and begged for attention. So I gave it to her. I gave it to her. So again, let's try swatching a few of these. I will be swatching um, Tweet Me. Okay, this doesn't have, doesn't have too much pigment to it. Um, let's swatch Take a Gander. And um, hand party looks like a nice cool tone fuchsia. So let's see them swatched. My hand is stained already from the previous palette, so this will only worsen the situation, I guess. Uh, and here it is. Well, these are very nice. I think this this shade tweet me. Uh, doesn't really show up. It's more like a topper, uh, but I know for a fact that I don't really love Colourpop shimmer, shimmer formula. So I'm more excited about the mattes when it comes to Colourpop palettes. So if this doesn't show up, it's fine. I wish that they could improve their formulation, but until they do, we will have to make with what we have. At the end of this video, I know I will have like pink everywhere color everywhere my shirt will be messy but you know it's the price of playing with makeup and then as i said we have the last item which is the on the wing super shock shadow duo and this as well came with the fine feather collection so um these actually i wanted because as i said i don't really love color pop shimmer formula but the um super shock shadow are great and they can definitely replace these lackluster shimmers in their palettes. So that's why I'm excited to have these two. They're so cute, they're pink. And let's see the color. This is um, Plume, looks like a mauve kind of a shade. Well, these are all supposedly being mauve, mauve pinks and bubbly. And Oh, these are so creamy. Every time I touch these, I forget how creamy they are. And then I remember that I'm again pleased. Oh yeah, these are gorgeous. Gorgeous to pair with that palette. So these were, of course, the palette and the super shocks were meant for each other. So the first box is done. I can't believe it. I also kept the card the little card it came with it says we are falling for you and i love fall it's my favorite season so yeah i will keep this but the box can go second one we're up to the second one and this one was from the 20 percent code they gave me oh i also keep this in case i try am i am i crazy might as well be so here we have a lot guys so really a lot um don't know where to start i have a lot of lips a lot of palettes um just pick let's pick randomly okay i have the Ocus pocus um hello boys this is which, which formula is this the lip cream again uh this i did not pick for myself this is what my boyfriend picked for me because he likes, as you will see, black, black lipstick. Uh, yeah, I will try this out. 
uh, for him, just for him. Normally, this isn't something I would have picked. Uh, but again, getting out of my comfort zone, that's fine, you know, it's fine. Um, here we have a Lux Velvet in the shade Tried and True. I think this uh, Velvet look, Velvet, Velvet, Lux Velvet, Lux Velvet lips, yeah, these are from the Lucky Penny collection. I don't know why the packaging doesn't match the collection, but there's one that does, like this one matches, but I don't know, maybe they were out of packaging and this is a, this almost looks like a brownish shade. Oh, that's quick. Oh yeah, this is the kind of shade I like and that everybody says I keep, I keep using over and over again and I, that I will keep using over and over again because I like them. And that's why I buy them, okay? If I didn't buy something that I didn't like, then why would I buy it? Except for the black lipstick, you know. Um, and then we have from, this is a trio by the way of Lux Velvet. This is on a roll. This appears to be much darker. And let's see, it's swatched. Yeah, this appears to be like a burgundy. Yeah, again, I'm in love with these shades. This packaging is a bit iffy here. It's difficult to close them. Um, but yeah, nice burgundy. I love dark lips. Love wearing dark lips, so sue me, I guess. And then we have Penny Pincher from the same trio, which should be the lightest one of the collection. Yeah. Yeah, this is definitely lighter than the other two. And again, squeaky packaging, that's fine. This is more pink toned rather than brown or berry like the other two, but I think this is a nice, uh, you know, the shades really are truly different from each other, so you're sure you cover or everything like a brown, you have a berry, you have a nude, pink nude, so that's great. Uh, something else, we are not even getting started with this, like I have so many items in this box, I'm ashamed, ashamed. We have two uh, Super Shock blushes, uh, yeah, I think I have a third here, actually, yes, this one, again, not in the packaging for the collection, but it's fine. Um, these, I purchased the whole of By The Rosé collection, so you will see the whole By The Rosé collection here. Okay, so we yeah, have, at first blush, oh, this is nice, but a bit deep for me, probably, but I don't mind, I don't mind very strong blushes, because I am a blush gal, I am a blush sucker, so no way, it's the second one, this is, these two have the pearlized finish. This used to be less pink and more with a reddish undertone to them. I think definitely more uh, wearable than the other one. The other is maybe too pink. Um, and the third one is really, really deep. It's called Sounds Grape. And yeah, like the name says, it's a wine, wine blush. But again, these are also, I think this can also be used as eyeshadows, so I don't mind. Uh, but definitely we'll try them, all of them on the cheeks, because I, again, I love blush. Uh, let's move on though. We have uh, Just a Tint, oh, I love the Just a Tint uh, formulation from Colourpop. This is so uh, nourishing and it looks glossy and it also leaves a tint, so I really love this. And oh my god, the packaging for this is so cute. Just look at this. It has hibiscus flowers, it's pink, uh, and the shade name. This is Rose Way. This doesn't come in the Bally Rose collection, but I thought it might as well um, look great with it. Uh, where does watch this? Next to the Super Shock, I guess. Okay, so it's this third one here. I love this shade. Uh, I'm actually getting more and more into 
pink lipstick shades. I used to only wear browns, so that's good for me. Uh, the packaging here doesn't really close. It's a bit loose. But yeah. Next. Uh, a palette. Let's pick one of the palettes. This is the Mandalorian palette. Press power pressed powder palette, I can't speak. Um, this is green. Do I wear green? No, don't be fooled. This is literally the only green shirt I have. And I most certainly do not wear green on my eyes. <laughs> but this looks so cute and everybody's raving about it. Again, out of my comfort zone, which is a good thing. Am I flashing you with the mirror? And Okay, let's do it like that. Yeah, so this has a burgundy, which I like. Well, it's, it's brown, but it seems burgundy, so let's call it burgundy, even though it's not. This is a this is a nice mint shimmer, and these more grungy shades. I actually wanted to get the Melt Cosmetics Gemini palette, but it's been out of stock for forever. I'm not sure if they are just not producing it anymore, so uh, I think this will do great in its absence, because I mean, uh, the shades I like from the Gemini were these greens and the, it, it has a beautiful gold to pair it with and this brown. So let's try a few shades. This mint called the Right Hand Mando, it's calling my name. Let's try Baby Face and Sipping Soap. I never watched Star Wars, so I'm not sure what this is about, but I can appreciate the cool names. And here I just watched it. Well, this is nice, like these two are very pretty. This one is already more olive, but these two are really unique. Uh, I can't wait to play with this. And uh, now I'm going to scrub my hands and get back to swatching again. So ends are washed, but these are still stained. I'm sorry, I scrubbed the guys really, but it's pinks, pinks are reds, man. You you know the drill. So um, let's touch on these, these two, crystal face uh, jewels, and again, crystal face jewels, but these are pearls, not jewels. Uh, these are cool. I wanted to try a bit some, like, you know, these editorial looks on Instagram that are really trendy and I'm not sure I can do as well, but we'll try, we'll try. Uh, then we have the Last for Dusk palette. This has been on my wish list for the longest time. Uh, this is so fall to me, even though we are now going into spring, but uh, you know, that's fine. You can wear whatever you want. Um, okay, I can see a very flaky shade here, Quiet Storm, but isn't this beautiful? Like, this is so grungy, some grey tones, uh, we have worms, you know, worms are always there. Um, shimmers look nice, uh, especially these two, I think this one may be a super shock, but don't, don't sue me. And we also have, um... Dual chrome night lover seem to be a purple to blue grayish tone. So yeah, I'm excited to play with this. Let's try a few shades. Um, what do I want to try? Well, first of all, let's try the dual chrome night lovers. Then we have um, serve chilled because it's a purple. Uh, yeah, this is a bit of you know, fallout. Then twilight seems to be a grayish blue. Uh, what else? I shake it, let's see. Yeah, this seems like a super shock, but I'm not sure. Might be just be like a glittery shade. And let's watch this. We have Night Lover, the dual chrome, we have Serve Chilled, and I forgot the name of the other two. Well, at least two out of four, that's fine. Oh my God, this, this shimmer formulation, guys, it's amazing. I wish this was the standard shimmer formulation for Colourpop because it's so buttery and so glittery. 
and yeah the duochrome is there i don't think it will show up too much on the eyes though uh this blue gray blue it's very cool very cool i can't wait to play with this really uh, but we have to move on otherwise i'm going to be here all day so let's transition from something very grungy i will put here to something very girly and uh, neutral and standard this is the wild nothing palette and as from the packaging it's going to be light very light um uh, there were a few shades here that called middle and let me take this out so yeah this is a standard neutral palette with a pop of minty green it seems uh and some corally type of shade here it's called alcove um but yeah i really like the neutrals in this palette of course if you don't love neutrals i don't think you're going to pick this up in the first place uh and here seems to be two um two super sharp eyeshadows as well i don't know why uh they used to put these in a lot of palettes and now i'm seeing and seeing them very um seldom seldomly is that the right word? I'm not sure. But let's watch. So uh, let's try seashells, the green. Let's try uh, spirited. Yes, this is definitely a super shock. And uh, oh, this is so creamy. I want to place my finger there, you know, dig deep. Um, and I'm going to be swatching Vagabond, this matte neutral brown. Uh, let's do it ears. Not sure if you can see it. But yeah, this is very... It's neutral, but I don't think it's boring because of these shades, like the green here. It's very cool. And these seashells, it's full of glitter. It almost um, reminds me of Ritz. The Super Shock Shadow, always from Colourpop, of course. Um, but yeah, also excited to play with this. Well, if I wasn't excited about all of these items, I wouldn't have bought them in the first place. You know what I mean? Um, let's go to Buy the Rosé palette. Again, because I have the full collection here, because I can't control myself. Uh, this will be pink. Again. Uh, oh God, will I have to stain my hand again? Yeah, um, the packaging is, ve is very nice. I noticed that with these uh, large pans, larger pans, um, it seems to be, the packaging seems to be more sturdy. So I'm happy about that. But yeah, these are pinks. Nothing really out of the box here. This shade seems to be a bit broken. Uh, nothing crazy though. Let's uh, swatch um, sparkling. I can't really read this font sparkling and just two this time uh cheers babe which seems to be a pink to um gold shade very similar to the very similar to the orgasm blush from nars uh yeah these shimmers actually aren't too bad definitely better than the ones in uh, fine feathered yeah fine feathered um but again we'll have to play with this to see if they are good or if i have to rely on super shocks again or you know formulas from other brands let me clean up my hands again because we have two more palettes in this box um and a few more lips okay so my hands are starting to get really glittery this won't leave me alone, even if I no no matter how many times I wash my hands. So uh, let's do together the Miss Bliss and In a Trance palette. These are the tie dye collection, if I recall correctly. Uh, the third one was actually missing, or I would have included it. I think, I think it was out of stock for the time. Uh, these are the plastic packaging. Don't really love it because it's clunky. I never really understood why people don't love packaging uh, in plastic because I mean it seems to be more you know 
solid but actually it's just clunky so yeah it's better if they do it in paper these are the two palettes by the way um let's open in a trance because these I, this pastels are you kidding these are so gorgeous and oh the sun totally said goodbye on me um that's fine uh so let's watch oh what do i want to watch um clarity it's white but as a blue undertone okay yeah uh we have future self which is this pastel and on own, own your power this purple pastel uh, don't think these uh, dual chrome will be visible. Uh, but yeah, these are... Well, you can't really see them because my hand is so glittery and pink now. I'm so sorry. But uh, this blue one, this blue shifting shade, it's so cool. It's so cool. Um, but let's talk about Miss Bliss, which is again another pastel palette. And this is more warm though. Uh, so let's try Intuitive, this pale orange, and Palo Santo. Not sure what this is. I'm sorry, excuse my um, ignorance. Uh, we'll have this watch here again you can't really see the pastels because they are too faint uh, pastels you know you need to build up uh, but you can see sort of here yeah <laughs> the orange is so nice so summery though it's, it reminds me of the Huda Beauty neon palette she has one in orange so it seems to be a similar shade to that one uh, but yeah, palettes are done for this box. We have three lippies though, from the By the Rosé collection. These are uh, It's On Me, Spritz Me and First Glass. From what I recall, they should be in a gradient. So from pale pink to uh, berry wine almost. Uh, and yeah, from what I can see already, yes definitely so let me put them in order so we have these are the three shades um not going to swatch them but this look this looks really neutral this looks really a pink and this looks berry so my favorite out of these just by looking at them and not even swatching them are definitely these two so the spritz me and first glass because they look like shades i usually wear this is by the way the lacquer formulation so this is like the glossy one um i don't really love the formula but i like the tint they leave when they are fading so that's nice last but not least for this box we have the sipsy pure uh, super shop trio again i'm always excited about um super shocks because the quality is amazing they are so fun to play with because they are so squishy plushy and they also you know replace the shimmers that colourpop has so we have a sundress which is a standard pink for you Standard pink here. Not going to swatch this. We we already have this in multiple palettes. I swatched today, uh, but this was a trio. So we have it's a vibe, which seems to be a coral with gold. This is really nice. This coral, but um, always pinkish in undertone. And then we have another mauvey one. This looks like one of the fine feathered ones yeah this is called longin and as you can see this is from the fine feather it's called plume 
These don't look really similar, do they? Yeah. Like, look at these. You probably don't need both if you have them. Uh, but you know, it's fine. It came in a trio. Again, am I justifying myself? Yes, I definitely am. Uh, okay, let's move to the last box. We'll wash my hands again. And let's keep going. This poor box, I don't know what they did to him, but they did him dirty, let me tell you. I was really afraid the things inside would be just unrepairable. But, um, let's see. We'll see, only, we can only tell by living. Um, so we have another foundation here from the Pretty Fresh line, this is the fair for hen and yeah the package here is like i'm so sorry please please don't be broken please okay 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 this seems to be pretty good condition um again can't really tell from the bottle because i think this is just a uh, matte this is just color uh, it's not the actual coral of the foundation, so I will have to see. Uh, this is the uh, Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer. I usually uh, love tinted moisturizers, so why not try the Colourpop one, because it's so affordable. Um, and then we have three palettes. So let's start with the Boring. Well, it's not really boring, it's a good palette, it's just that it's pretty common. This is the We Talk Pressed Powder Palette, and this should be like a peachy palette, if I recall correctly. The packaging here is so cool, you can see it shifts. Um, oh. Yeah, as I was saying, peaches and shimmers. And we also have a pressed... Uh, glitter seems like uh, this I ordered just because it came in a bundle with another palette I really wanted so this is just an unfortunate accident well not really you're st still going to use it but uh, yeah let's try a few of this so let's try side to side which is a super shock uh, oh actually these are two glitters and uh, this Prima Drama glitter looks amazing. It's so cool. And um, Dream Maker, which is a peachy, corally one. You can see them here. Look at this glitter, you guys. I, I usually don't, uh, you know, I'm mixed about um, glitters because I know you're not supposed to use them on your eyes, but this looks amazing. Yeah, just look at this. And I aren't you enthralled? Enthralled? Who am I? Uh, yeah, this glitter. I'm I'm going to have to try it. Uh, you know, if I die, it was nice meeting you. Thanks for watching my video. Remember to subscribe. <laughs> yeah, let's move on so that I can leave you. Not because I don't want to be here. Just this is taking longer than I expected. So let's go to the uh, whatever palette. This is the palette I bought the bundle for. So it's Sweet Talk. Um, again, this is the full collection. And this is the burgundies I was talking about. Okay, I thought the plastic thing was going to follow me. And just look at this. This is a burgundy lover dream. This is... This is my name written all over it. Like, you know, each shade is my name, actually. I'm joking. But, uh, yeah, let's swatch these shadows. So, let's try the three burgundies I see. Uh, maybe later. Looks amazing. Oh, these are so battery. Bad guy. Which, you know, Billy Eilish wants cold and wants her name back. And Mr. Brightside. Uh, am I going to swatch any shimmers? No. No, so, oh, these are so pigmented. Bit of fallout though, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I have nothing else to say. 
just yeah I don't want to articulate please leave me alone okay and then the last palette of the last box you guys it's been a journey literally and I can finally give the ring light back to my boyfriend who needs to make uh, to record a video for work sorry uh, this is the high tide palette it's uh, as you can see it's bright it's color uh, it's teal and it's yeah, it's exactly what you think it is. A teal palette. Uh, I love teal. It's probably my favorite color. Do I love it on my eyes? I don't know. I never tried. I will though. Um, so let's watch a few of these. Um, free floating. Uh, these, my hands are so red and pink. Uh, free floating looks like a sea foamy blue love this uh, must see sc in it so i will watch it because the little mermaid and then new wave no actually urchin urchin because you know this palette was i feel like it was built around this color so it's only fair that we see how it is um and yeah let's watch these three These are, these are really good. I, well, I can speak for the quality of these, but these are so amazing. Like, can you imagine like an old teal look that you know you wear one time and never again because you don't know which, which clothes to pair it with? Yeah, that's exactly what you achieve. <laughs> but hopefully I will use this more than one time. But yeah, you guys, this, this is a lot. There's a lot of products. My desk is full to the brim with products. I don't even know where to store all of this. Uh, but yeah, I think... Um, will I ever make another purchase from Colourpop again? <laughs> Do you think? I will. I definitely will. Uh, but you know, it takes 21 days, more or less, three weeks for products to reach me so these three packages have all arrived together uh, in one week but i've waited for them three weeks so uh it takes a while and sometimes you forget what i ordered just because it takes so much but yeah guys thank you for watching and for sticking with me for this very long haul and i hope you pray for my wallet after this because yes this is a lot uh, with the custom fees as well it's a lot it's a, it's a lot but yeah thank you again i hope you really enjoyed the video and i will see you in the next one please remember to subscribe to leave a like to comment which was your favorite item for from this haul and um you know just just make yourself heard leave a trace leave a print uh shout out into the void just leave a comment just just leave a comment so i will see you guys thank you and have a nice day bye